one of my top ask questions is I've got a reel of chicken wire Callum. Um, you know, this stuff. Galvanised chicken wire is on Amazon. Can I use it instead of radials? You could, right? But I've got some hearsay stories for you. You might think, oh, yeah, interesting. So the problem is with chicken wire, it's kind of a hex thing, isn't it? I'm not going to start drawing it all out. But anyway, um, a chicken, chicken wire, and it's got all this stuff going off. After a while in the ground, all chicken wire will rust. Okay, and there was a great story on, I think it was Eham. And you know, I can't blooming find the story now, it, which is unfortunate. But, but I do remember reading it because years ago I thought, oh, I'll put some chicken wire down. I've got to then bond it with to copper and make sure that bond stays. What do I weld it? Do I? What do I do? And uh, that was good. And I did some research, but I came across this guy who. And in fact, I've read another article since this. He could hear in his headphones the atoms uh, bonding with the oxygen. In other words, he could hear the clicks and pops as it rusted. And it apparently drove him insane, right? Because you've got all this stuff bonded to your antenna gear all over the place, rusting away again, click, pop, bang. So I thought it'd be worthwhile making a, a video just to say, you know, shelve that idea because the difference between putting a load of chicken wire out and a load of you know, radials, and I've just made a video about radials, all right? It's no difference, okay? A few radials versus your chicken wire, there's nothing in it. And the other thing with putting radials down is I'm going to make a dedicated video, a review 12 months with my, living with my radials, is that they're easy to put down, easy to take up. All right, this is the way it is. All right, to walk in the park, you can do this in you know in an hour. And if you put the chicken wire down, you got to bend it and push it all in. You got to get some grass and turf on the top, and then you got to find a reliable way of bonding your copper wire to the chicken wire. Now, some of you might have done it, but if you're wondering what the clicks and pops are, this is what's going on. All right, I don't know how you get it out. I mean, I suppose if it wasn't bonded to the antenna, you might not hear the clicks and pops, but you've got a hell of a lot of potential rust. Now, if you're in a very, very super dry climate, give it a go, all right? But I'm just warning you now, just be careful in case you put chicken wire down and it starts rusting. That's all from me for the time being. Next video's up here. Adios. Ciao, ciao, bye-bye. Wire mesh, wire mesh, wire mesh. Chicken wire, all right? Chicken wire <sighs> one of my